Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the AFE factory. So I've now broken ground on the uh, Model Collect E75 Tiger 3. So I just thought I'd um, talk you through where I've got to and um, what my plans are with this. So I haven't got too far into it. I've um, basically just assembled uh, the suspension units um, and added those onto the uh, lower chassis and then the same with the uh, wheels and idlers and uh, sprockets so what my plan is is that I'm going to um, assemble the tracks and actually as I assemble them glue them onto the road wheels and the um, other bits um, and then remove the whole lot and um, paint and weather them in that way um, the reason I'm doing this is um, the the tracks are a bit um, or the instructions I should say are a little bit vague on how these tracks go together um, so I just thought it would be um, it would make more sense to assemble them onto the onto the, the wheels and that way I can get everything spot on and look in the way I want it so what I've done here um, Obviously, I didn't want to at this stage glue the wheels um, onto the lower chassis. So what I, I have done is I've used some of this uh, liquid mask and just used that as a, a, a slight adhesive to hold the wheels in place. Now, obviously, a lot of kits or other kits, you don't need to do this. So you know, like Tamiyo have got their poly caps and. Some are, uh, are an, an, a good interference fit and you can just push them on and they stay in place um, and others aren't and um, this is one of those cases obviously once you've glued them in place finally for, for construction it's fine they're not going to go anywhere but at this point if I didn't use anything they would wobble about and fall off um, that's not what I want when I'm um, attaching tracks to them so yeah they're fixed in place just enough to hold them steady and hold them straight um, and then that will make life a lot easier when I go along and put the track parts onto them and um, with regard to the um, you know adding tracks and making that one unit with the wheels um, sometimes it's it's better than others you know depending on what paint you're using or what colors you're doing the road wheels depending on what weathering you're going to be using again on the road wheels and on the tracks um, sometimes it, it can make life a bit difficult I mean there are people out there that can do this you know and they do a really good job of spraying and weathering um, you know to a really good standard I'm not, not in that category but I can get this to look what I want it to look like um, without any um, detriment to the um, to the overall finish where the, with the tracks fitted to it so um, so let's move that out of the way so here are the tracks there um, I think I showed you I did certainly looked at them in the um, inbox review their link and length tracks what I've done is I've um, added these dots onto the um, upper side of the tracks and these are the these are the um, sprue numbers so four five two etc so that once I can, cut, I can cut all these off and then when they're off I'm not then wondering oh hang on a minute which part is for which part I know just by the dots um, so I'll cut all those off now and um, then we can have a look at what we've got when that's done
So there's all the um, individual parts now cut off the, um, the sprue. Quite nice that the, they um, were attached on the sides as opposed to on the ends because you ne then tend to need to do a lot of cleaning up to make sure that the um, bits of track link into each other whereas you don't have that issue with this you know because it's it's just molded so they'll just slide in which is quite good um, so here's the uh, instructions regarding the tracks so it says um, try and choose the best tracks in a straight line fix to fix the position so although they are numbered um, they don't necessarily go where the numbers show so it's going to be a bit of a um, a bit of an exploration really to try and work out where they go so that's what I'm going to do now um, and I won't carry on filming that because it could take me a while and it just won't be very interesting for you to watch so um, I'll crack on with that and see how I get on. <laughs> 